Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. Today we have a Hangster certified unit to present to you, which means this unit is available with shipping and warranty at full retail price, and the vehicle has been through our processing. It is one of the most iconic muscle cars of all time, and it is probably, uh, if not the most popular muscle car in our industry, and that is the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Today we have a big block car to present to you, so let's check it out. It is a 396 as indicated on the air cleaner. On the driver's side firewall, there is a call tag there. We will take a still photo of that uh, to put on our website so you can break that down if you choose to. The gold contraption underneath your call tag is your power brake booster. It tells you the car does have power brakes. On either side of the motor, the car does have dual headers. So nice big headers uh, on the side of our uh, 396 block there. And then, of course, mounted on the driver's side of the block is your power steering reservoir. If you guys are looking at the photos of our cars, uh, whether it's this Camaro or any other vehicle, and you want to know, does the car have air conditioning? Simply look for the AC compressor and the AC lines. This car does not have air conditioning. However, Nate over at Hangster's Garage has vintage air kits in stock for big block Camaros if you want it installed prior to it leaving. <coughs> White car, black vinyl top, brand new Riddler wheels, and brand new radial tires. So let's check it out. The paint on the car is really, really nice throughout uh, your um, hood here. Uh, no blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything going on there. Uh, nor on the tops of the fenders. The, the paint on the um, top of the vehicle here in the front is nice and uniform. Uniform color and clear. No kind of cracking, blistering, anything like that going on. It's, it's real nice up, up top. In the front of the car, you have your uh, grill, headlights, front bumper, uh, lower spoiler. Everything's in real nice shape. Grill's not broken at all. The... Uh, Bumper, front bumper, you know, uh, no rust, no chrome peel. It's a really nice looking uh, front bumper on the car. Stepping around to the driver's side of the vehicle, a couple things. First of all, on the nose, before the hockey stripe starts, you have your 396 badge. The uh, black stripe starts off on the front fender and continues down the driver door. Uh, that's all in nice shape, not faded, not peeling, not cracked. Car is equipped with wheel opening moldings. Uh, they are chrome, all four corners of the car. They are in nice condition. <clears throat> Camaro SS badge on the driver's side front fender. We are uh, selling this car as an SS style car. Therefore, um, you know, it's done in the style of an SS car. We are not promoting it as a true SS. The Riddler wheels are brand new. We put them on there and then so are the uh, radial Toyo tires that are on the vehicle. Um, we put new tires, new wheels on the car. <clears throat> Let's jump up to our glass clarity. Uh, driver's front windshield, driver's side of the front windshield, real nice shape, no cracks or chips. It's the same on the passenger side. Anytime we're listing a car with a vinyl top on it, we try to uh, go over the vinyl top condition and on this car it's fantastic. There is no rust or anything going on up top above the windshield. Uh, your seams are nice uh, down the uh, driver's side. It's going to be the same on the passenger. We'll show you that. No issues around your uh, where the drip rail would be on the car. Uh, dropping down to the rear quarter, the, uh, not only is the color of the vinyl top nice, it's not faded or anything like that, but there's no um, any kind of blisters or bubbles or cracking going on underneath the vinyl top. Before we open up the driver door and get into the interior of this vehicle, uh, I want you to notice the door fitment. Um, see how the body line on the fender here continues onto the door um, and it's nice and uh, straight. There's no waves. And then the bottom of the driver door, there's no blisters, bubbles, cracks, anything like that. The, the paint is really nice on the vehicle. And what an outstanding look with those chrome wheels and the black top and the white. Uh, paint and then the black hockey stripe. It's just a, a, when you think of muscle car, this is what you think of, just that, that look of that 69 Camaro. Uh, the driver's side door glass, 
uh, quarter window glass, all appear to be in uh, really nice shape. You know, there's a couple faint scratches that you're accustomed to seeing on a, a vehicle of this age. Um, however, the clarity's uh, real good there. Um, you know, me personally, if it were my car, I think I'd add a little bit of window tint to make those a little darker. I think the black windows would make it look cool with the, with the white paint. How about the uh, driver's side door panel? Uh, no rips or tears in the armrest. Uh, the panel itself is not uh, warped or uh, torn or discolored. So uh, you have a nice door panel there on the driver's side. Let's take a look in the back seat of this car where you will see a couple different things. First of all, uh, the cushion appears to be in good shape. The reason for that is not too many people can fit in the back seat of a Camaro unless you're a small woman or a small child. Um, the seat belts are OEM. Uh, those, uh, so you have rear seat belts in the car already. The uh, seat back on the car, nice shape. The uh, driver's side seat, no uh, rips, tears, great cushion. Uh, your center console, it's a staple shifter car, automatic, uh, does have your uh, seat belt clips in the center console, wood grain uh, in good shape. It does have an aftermarket three-spoke steering wheel that appears to be newer, uh, an aftermarket column to include tilt steering. Camaro floor mats are brand new. Looking underneath the floor mat, the carpeting's in great shape. No discolorations or tears. You can see up there next to the uh, center console, the uh, color of the carpet's nice deep black, and then uh, there's no rips or tears or anything like that. The uh, headliner in the vehicle uh, is in nice condition. Has a couple wrinkles in the back on the driver's side, but there are no rips or tears um, in it. The seams are all good. There's no uh, you know seam split there. Uh, sun visors look to be like they're in newer shape. Rear quarter. We'll pan around the uh, rear wheel tire area, show you those chrome wheel openings and then wheel opening moldings, and then uh, show you a shot low there behind the rear quarter. Really an outstanding looking vehicle. Rear glass, uh, the clarity's there, it's nice. Uh, looking through the rear windshield onto your uh, speaker shelf hat rack area, uh, that's not discolored or warped. Uh, the chrome around your rear window here looks to be in good shape. Uh, once again, there's no uh, blistering or bubbling behind the rear window on the vinyl top. Deck lid paint, fantastic. Uh, the paint on this car, I, we don't have any uh, restoration history on the car. When the motor was done, when the tranny was done, when the uh, car was painted, but uh, the paint on the car uh, is, is very nice. It's it's probably an eight to an eight and a half out of 10 if you ask me my personal opinion on it. You know, it's, it has nice uniform color, nice uniform clear throughout, and there's no uh, spider web cracking, you know, fish eyes, uh, anything like that going on. Before we get into the trunk, let's take a look at our uh, chrome clarity on our real rear bumper. Um, there are a couple little tiny scratches right there if you can even see those. Um, but there's no uh, rust on the rear bumper, there's no chrome peel, uh, there's no patina whatsoever. Uh, your rear tail lights are in nice shape. SS logo there in the center of your uh, rear valance uh, beneath the keyhole there, that's in nice condition. Let's pop the trunk. Trunk mat's brand new. Trunk pan. Nice and solid. See, what you're looking for in your trunk pan is if these lines stop. You know, those are uh, factory lines. Uh, you know, if they stop short or if they're all wavy or weird or they're non-existent, that means your trunk's got mud in it. But this one has no issues. All right, passenger side. By the way, the body lines on this car are fantastic. If we can get a good shot just down the side of the car, there's no waves in the fenders, the doors, the rear quarters. Uh, it's all real nice uh, panel fitment uh, and real nice presentation down the side of the car for sure. Um, once again, see there's no uh, 
issues there as far as uh, any kind of blistering, bubbling around the wheel opening, uh, around the wheel well. No issues low on the rear quarter. Take a look in the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, door panels about the same condition as the driver's side. Passenger side seats real nice. Dash pad, glove box area, center console. Uh, does have some aftermarket gauges mounted beneath the uh, dash there. We'll uh, take a look at those on the test drive to make sure that those function. But uh, really nice interior and exterior here on our 69 Camaro. So notice your door closure. See how it closes nice and tight to the rear quarter. Uh, does not protrude over the rear quarter. Uh, you have chrome, aluminum, uh, rocker panel moldings down low. Those appear to be newer or in uh, real nice shape. The car already has dual mirrors on it, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. Your glass clarity on the passenger side door uh, and quarter window, both real nice. And no issues on the passenger side uh, vinyl top here where it drops down to the rear quarter at the top. Like I said, the seam's nice and tight uh, to the uh, roof line. So how about our uh, front fender on the passenger side? Same deal, uh, Camaro, SS, 396, everything's in nice condition. Um, there's no paint blisters down low, no paint issues around your uh, wheel opening. I think I saw our first paint issue there. There's a little chip right there, like right there and right there, if you can see that. <clears throat> That's about it. Outstanding car. Very nice paint presentation in person. I hope the video does the paint justice. Uh, the interior of the car, fantastic. Black vinyl, center console, staple shifter, tilt wheel. Just a nice car. 69 Camaros in our showroom last 30 days tops, and typically they are gone within 10. Um, and this one will be no exception. It's a very nice car, especially with those brand new, think about it, you got brand new wheels and tires on the freaking car. You don't even have to worry about that. Spring's coming. Um, this thing's ready, turnkey for the car shows. And uh, we can put air in it if you want and get it there uh, to you in time so that you can uh, be taking home some trophies. Pretty awesome. I think this car's Pretty awesome. It is a uh, driver quality 1969 Chevrolet big block Camaro. It's one of the uh, most popular selling vehicles in our showroom. Our showroom's awesome as well. We have 60 to 70 muscle cars, the majority of which we own. We have a 25,000 square foot facility, a lot of cool stuff on the walls to see, a lot of cool inventory to walk around and view. And I encourage you to come in person Check out our business operation, meet our sales staff, and look at whatever vehicle you're interested in, in person. We are in an extremely fun business. We sell uh, 30, 40, 50 year old cars that right now are an extremely hot commodity. I'm very used to these cars. I buy a ton of them, sell a ton of them, uh, work on them, drive them. You, however, may not be. That's why I encourage you to visit our Daytona Beach showroom. We have a friendly and knowledgeable sales staff. Uh, they'd be more than happy to show you the 69 Camaro or any other piece of inventory you're interested in. Uh, we'll pull the vehicle outside for you. You can take a good look at it um, out in the natural light. We have two uh, lifts here in our Daytona Beach showroom. We will gladly throw it up in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the entire bottom of the car. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the vehicle uh, starts up how it accelerates, how it stops, how it handles, steers, rides, if there's any noises or squeaks or rattles you don't like. This way, when the car shows up to you, wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car yourself. We do the best job we possibly can to represent each one of our cars as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can. And that is why we've been doing sight unseen business in this industry for over 20 years. However, if you haven't, if you've never owned a classic car or it's been quite some time since you owned a classic car or you haven't got the first clue about a classic car other than you saw one at a car show and you thought it's a pretty awesome idea to buy one, 
please allow us to educate you on the uh, responsibilities and the expectations you can uh, have when you own one of these vehicles. Let's put our 69 Camaro up in the air. We'll check out the undercarriage, and then shortly after that, we'll do a test run. Okay, we are underneath our uh, big block 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. There's disc brakes up front here. You cannot get a visual of the front seal. Uh, our cross members in the way in the front here. So we'll take a look at the back of the pan uh, to at least show you. You can see a little bit on the passenger side here since we have a mini starter. Uh, if it was a full size starter, you wouldn't even be able to see that. But the mini starter kind of gives you a little bit of perspective on the passenger side of the pan. As far as the driver's side goes, uh, you can see your freeze plugs up there are in good shape looking beyond the headers. And then of course your oil pan bolts Everything looks in good shape. So even though we don't have any documentation on the actual motor rebuild, the fact that that block on the side, those freeze plugs look new, that block's painted, it tells me that that motor has been out of that car uh, somewhat recently. You do have a huge set of headers here. Uh, there is a little scuff here on the passenger side. Uh, however, neither driver nor passenger side headers are punctured or rusted through. Moving on to the tranny pan, your transmission pan, all nice and dry throughout the entire uh, pan area here. Your uh, problematic areas are your uh, tail shaft seal, which is dry on this car. You see you got a brand new tranny mount there. Rubber on that's real nice. Uh, your speedo cable's nice and dry. There's nothing seeping out of it. So our uh, motor and transmission both look to be in pretty good shape. As far as your frame rails are concerned, you have uh, frame stiffener supports in those and then your uh, floor pans look to be good all the way back here driver's side passenger side all one piece nothing uh, sectioned in patched uh, silicone tiger hair aluminum anything else you can use on a to, to hide up an undercarriage your e-brake is hooked up it functions uh, the exhaust coming off of the headers appears to be in somewhat newer condition. Uh, there is no brand name on the actual mufflers, so I uh, don't know that. But the exhaust system uh, is in good shape from the headers to the pipes to the mufflers. No rust, rot, anything like that. Your rear end. 12-volt rear to pair with that 396 up front. Drum brakes in the rear of this car. As stated earlier in the presentation, the tires on the vehicle are brand new, so you have plenty of uh, tread depth there. Uh, no issues uh, whatsoever uh, with that. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, 396 car, power front disc brakes, power steering. Uh, so pretty, pretty nicely equipped vehicle. Let's talk about our payment options. If you're a cash buyer, cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer. If you are financing, the lending institutions we work with will do 5 to 15 year loans on these cars. 10% down payment is going to be your minimum. Uh, even if you walk on water and your credit's perfect, they're still going to require 10% down. If you have a higher debt to income ratio or maybe a little lower credit score, they could require 15, maybe even 20% down. So, But that's between you and the lender. We have zero control over that. If you like what you hear from the lender, uh, contact us back and we'll get the whole uh, purchase process started. Once the vehicle is paid in full, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection process. We check lug nut torque, uh, tire pressure, wipers, horn, reverse lights. You know, they're old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking in any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once the vehicle is through inspection and the guys give us the green light, it's ready to go. We put the vehicle through detail and then the carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a vehicle picked up within a 48 hour window. However, if you are in a more difficult destination or you're on the west coast, allow us four, five, six business days. We will get a carrier here just as soon as possible to pick up your ride. We know you're excited to get your car. We're excited we earned your business. Uh, so we will uh, get the car picked up and en route to you just as soon as we possibly can. If you're handling your own shipping, whether you're sending your own carrier or you are coming to get it on a trailer or drive it home, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can come get it. Let's set our 69 Camaro down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and see how it runs out. I haven't driven this one yet, but I can tell by the way it sounds and idles, it's gonna have a couple horsepower. 
Uh, tilt, I showed you in the showroom. Horn. Driver's side turn. Passenger side turn. What's that odometer say? Uh, 61,373. Title reads exempt, true miles unknown. Wipers. Gauges, we'll keep an eye on our temp. We've got plenty of oil pressure, look at this. Thing shoving some good oil pressure. The radio works. <laughs> Not sure. You might want to put some more speakers in it. Uh, this is a this is a muscle car. It's got the muscle car sound, the muscle car uh, idle. You know, this is uh, if you're looking for a cruiser, this might not be your car. I mean, you can cruise in it, but it's like I said, it's it's producing some ponies. Uh, fuel gauge works. Center console's in real nice shape. Looks like a newer one to me. The uh, dash pad's in nice condition. Told you the headliner looks to be in pretty decent condition. Sail panels look good. Let's run it. Fun car. Speedo, working, accurate and steady. The car's got real nice precision steering, real nice and tight. Car tracks nice and straight, steering wheels aligned. Uh, this motor is cammed up. I don't know the internal uh, specifications of the motor. I don't have any uh, any knowledge on the build, but it's fast. I'll run through a couple gears up here. Uh, car rides real nice. There's no uh, shimmy shakes vibrations at all. Our temp, you know, on a big block car, you need to be pretty much under 200, and we're there. The car's cooling properly, so we're not overheating. Brakes, look at that, nice and steady. No vibrations or pulsations out of the brakes at all. Oh, I'll go why these people got the arrow. All right, here we go. Like that, we are at 75. Training shifts good. Car pulls like a freight train. It's one of the nicest 396 motors I've driven in terms of setup. You know, boom, you're you're going. I have no idea how many horsepower it has. We have not dynoed the car. Um, I don't know if you'd be losing too many races. It's it's hefty. Temp's good after I just ran it up, you know, 75 miles an hour. We're still cooling buck 90, which is awesome for a big block car in the state of Florida. Fantastic Camaro, 1969. Riddler wheels, brand new tires, power steering, power brakes, vinyl top, great color, awesome interior, functioning radio, plenty of horsepower. The list goes on. And look. See how we're cammed up, but see how nice we're idling? Idling nicely, not stalling out. Good temp. It's a good car. If you're in the market for a 69 Camaro, I would definitely consider this baby. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. Where you can find all the photos of this vehicle along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 69 Camaro includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end, the internal components. It doesn't cover batteries, brakes, starters, alternators. Whatever else you can think of that are wear and tear items or are not internal components of your powertrain. If you have an issue, you don't need to take your car to a restoration center. If you take it to a restoration center, they're going to want to restore your car. 
you simply need to take it to an ASC certified facility, somebody that's just, you know, your 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 mom and pa shop, your franchise facility, your independent facility. Um, tell them you have a powertrain warranty and you have an engine noise or a tranny slip or whatever, and they'll be happy to take a look at it for you and, and give you an estimate. Is the price of our 69 Camaro negotiable? It most certainly is. Full retail price is the way to go. You get the uh, convenience of us handling all your shipping logistics and you get the security of our powertrain warranty. However, if you want to negotiate this car within reason, we're fine doing that. Uh, shipping comes off. We uh, do not ship the car for you at uh, negotiated cost. You handle all that legwork on your own. And then of course, uh, the warranty is good at full retail price only. There's no exceptions to that, so you don't have to bother asking that question. Maybe you have your own method of transportation, be it a carrier you've used in the past, you've had a good experience with, or you have your own trailer. You're welcome to trailer this car home. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you'll be cooling good in our 396-69 Camaro. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach. We'd love to earn your business and you for our growing customer base. So check us out at hanksters.com and uh, get yourself a fantastic 69 Camaro before it's gone. Hankster's Hot Rods, check us out.